Hi, I'm Jeff Chubb with REM Network, and today we're with Jason Bonarigo of RMS Mortgage. Jason, hey, hey how are you doing? Th thanks for coming. So, I appreciate it. Thanks for having um, me. So today we were going to talk about specifically the pre-approval process. Yeah. I constantly am hearing from clients like, it's just the reason why they're not doing it is it's overwhelming. They feel that it is overwhelming. Well, they think it's overwhelming. They think it's overwhelming. They think it's overwhelming. And they don't actually end up taking the first step. No. And so, you know, tell me. So, you know, and, and I recently did the process, which was pretty seamless and easy. Right. But um, tell me, so what is that first step? So we make the introduction to the client and say, hey, it's Jason Bonarigo. He's, he's the greatest mortgage banker on the face of this earth, All right? Time. Yeah. Um, and at that point, you kind of take it away. So, so what happens? Yeah, obviously, I just, you know, I, I thank you for the referral. I reach out to the client. Um, and just ask them when the best time to chat is, or whether it's over email or text, or, or obviously on the phone right. um, as well. I, I actually prefer it on the phone, especially for that initial contact, because again, I, I get to make them feel comfortable and let them know that it's not, you know, it's not rocket science here. We're not going to be splitting the atom. It's just a quick application. Ninety-nine percent of my clients go online to do it right through our app. Um, it takes about twelve minutes. A front secure app, front, secure, very, very secure. Right. And that's obviously a question that we get all the time with credit and secure documents yeah. and things. But, but again, literally. 11 to 12 minutes front to back, just some basic stuff, you know, name, address, where do you live, job title, things like that, and then, and that's really it. And that's for the pre-qualification. I mean, obviously, the difference between pre-qualification and actually getting approved for the loan sure. are a lot different, and that's where a lot of the supporting documentation comes right. in, is that correct? But to your point, Jeff, once we have that, we have that, right? right. Like, we don't have to do it again. We have, your, we have you on file, and whether you find a house in the next two days or the next three months, we have that. We have that mortgage application, and then it's really just adding some documentation here and there. Like updated pay stubs. Of course, right. If right. you're three weeks away, then we're going to need an updated pay stub or a bank right. statement to show that you know the bank accounts are still rolling on. But but other than that, again, and we walk you through that, and that's the other reason that we like to get at least the, the core of the stuff, meaning W-2s and pay stubs up front, so that we have that foundation, and then it's like, you know what? Go ahead. You're good for the next 90 days. Right. Go find a house, talk to your realtor, and then we'll be here for you. Well, because ultimately, I mean, you know, it, it you buy the house, and if you've done more in beforehand, before, there's less to do kind of, of when it, things kind of get when crazy. it really gets stressful because yeah. it exactly. is stressful. I mean, like, we're not gonna pretend it is. And right? right. buying a house, it should be a little bit. It's exciting. It's stressful. It's right. nerve wracking. It's all that. You're a homeowner, but 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 we have that taken care of. And again, we've we've done 80, 90 percent of the heavy lifting up front. Okay, so 10 to 12 minutes. Go online. Do the application Super all simple. online. You know, send you some supporting documentation that you might ask for. Yep. You know, let's do it a little bit easier up front. But if not, okay. Um, you're available by phone, text, and email. Should they have any questions All for you? Uh, what time. about credit? So you're going to pull credit, correct? We're going to pull credit as part of that, but they have to give permission for that, and we'll right. discuss that with the client. But in the app, there's a uh, basically an authentic code that you put in that verifies the credit. They give you permission, then we pull it, and then and obviously we verify it with them. Something that you've been really helpful with, because a lot of times people will pull credit. And look, I mean, uh, another great trick that you actually taught me is if you're just wondering and thinking, well, is my credit okay, is going to Experian.com where sure. they'll actually give you your credit score for free. You can get the one right? score. Sure. Um, yeah. and, and I found that really helpful for people who might think that they're a little on the edge and not quite want to go. That's the thing, Jeff, that we notice the most is that most people are afraid of their credit. Right. It's not so much the overall process. That can be a little bit too, but it's really just, I don't know what my credit is. I, I think it's this. I'm not sure I went on this website or that website. I mean, so just go to Experian.com, Experian which is one of the three. It's one of the three major credit repair it's you know, free. bureaus, and it's free. You get one free every year, and then obviously you can, you can call me and verbally say, oh, my credit score is X. It's 741. I feel like I'm in right. pretty good shape, and I can give you the feedback on that and obviously we decide there's gonna be any pressure to pull that credit we'll talk about that and have dialogue on one it. more question yeah in the credit aspect is how badly does it affect my credit when you pull my credit how badly does it affect that's a great me? question because we get that all the time and everyone thinks every time you pull it it's a massive negative on your credit and it really isn't if we do a true mortgage inquiry there is not a negative impact right. because the algorithm knows that you're shopping for a mortgage and having a mortgage inquiry now if you went out and to an actual asset an actual asset. If you right. went out to Best Buy or open three Visa cards, well, then of course that's unsecured debt, and that's right. revolving debt, and the algorithm doesn't like that. So everyone is under the assumption I can't pull it because it's going to go down. That's actually not true. Right. So, okay. Yeah. Great. Well, again, I'm Jeff Chubb. I'm here with Jason Bonarigo of RMS Mortgage. My team, the Chubb Realty Group, we're happy to help you and answer any questions that you might have about the home buying process. He's happy and always available for you to answer any questions that you might have about the lending process. Um, but either way, we look forward to chatting with you.